everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and my project today uses some more of the new goodies from the mini catalog. It says July to December, but it's really August 3rd till December. Alrighty, and also going on at the same time is the Celebration catalog, which uh, every $50 you can pick some free things. Alrighty, if you don't have a catalog, um, I just mailed my customers who have purchased from me in the last year their catalog on both of them um, on Friday morning. So they should be getting it probably today or tomorrow. If you order from me, I will send you a catalog. Uh, just send, just allow me when on the order to see your information so that I can mail you one. And just send me a little comment or something, say that you ordered and you don't have a catalog. Alrighty, so today I made this gift box that has this adorable puppy. I have three of them, one and one more is my daughter's um, puppies in my house, so they're my some of my favorite things in the whole world. Um, I used a sweet little stocking stamp set along with the stocking dies, which comes as a bundle. If you buy the bundle, you get 10% off. And also... Um, if you add a little bit to this, you would get a free celebration item. All right, I also use the seasonal label dies on this here, which these are the seasonal label dies. I just love them. And I use the scallop contour dies from the annual catalog for around there. Alrighty, and some new glittered organdy ribbon, which I do love. It ties such a pretty bow. See that? And it didn't take me long at all. Um, okay, so let's get started with what you need. Okay, so you need some basic white for stamping. You need out of Evening Evergreen. This is from the Scallop Contours dies. It's the third, it's the one right in the middle. The third to the smallest and the third to largest. Okay, and that's evening evergreen. You need a piece of, also, I forgot to tell you, I'm using the Sweet Stockings Designer Series Paper. These are a little out of order because I started using them on this project. These are adorable. I can't stand it. Okay, these are the, they're small with kitties and puppies and gerbils and mice in stockings. And that's with the lights. And then we have some cute kitties. He doesn't look too happy. <laughs> and another puppy. Some stockings. Now the stocking dies will cut these out. And the lights. And some pool party. Alrighty, so I'm using this designer series paper. We need one piece for right here that goes on top of the scallop contour die. That is three and a quarter by two. Let me just write that down because I forgot to write that down. Three and one quarter by two for the rectangle. Okay. This die here, it is from the seasonal label dies, and we use that for the greeting. Let me put that away. Out of real red. Some more of the DSP. We need two pieces that are four by two and three quarters, two that are four by one, and two that are two and three quarter by one. All right, so that's all that stuff. I lost these already. I had to cut them out again. This is from the stocking dies. It's holly leaves and little holly berries out of real red and evening evergreen. Don't lose that again. And then a piece of real red cardstock that is nine by seven. All right, now let's start with that. And I'm going to get my Simply Scored. All right, and we're going to start on the nine inch side. And we're going to score at one half, oops, three and a half, four and three quarters and seven and three quarters. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it to the seven inch side and we're going to score at one and a quarter, five and a half, and six and a half. And that's that. And I'm just gonna fold and burnish. 
Alrighty. This is what we want to do. Now we have the skinniest rectangles on the left hand side and along the top. Alrighty. So this is what we want to do. It's not too bad. We're just going to cut some tabs leaving the flaps alone and the rectangles on the bottom alone. And then we're going to take off little bits. Okay. Alrighty. So let's start again with the skinny rectangles on the left hand side and at the top. We're going to go all the way over to the bottom left and we're going to take off this rectangle at the bottom and wedge a little bit above it on the top. Okay. We're going to go to the other side of this rectangle, cut it straight. This is our square, we have to make a tab, so we're going to go to the other side of it, cut it straight, and then take a tiny wedge out of each side. Okay. Alrighty. Move to the other side of this rectangle, and then we're going to tab out the square also. So that's what the bottom looks like. Okay. I'm going to turn it 180 so that the skinny rectangles are on the right hand side and the bottom. And we're going to start on the bottom right again. Left, sorry, the bottom left. And this here, it's kind of not a square. It's kind of rectangly looking, but we are going to treat it like that's a square. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the rectangle on the top and then just wedge a little bit out of each side. Okay. This is one of our flaps. We're going to leave it alone and just cut the side straight. Go to the other side to this flap and we're going to cut the side of that straight. Okay, this is going to become our next tab. So we have to get rid of the rectangle on the top and then wedge both sides of this. Okay. On the other side of this flap, we're just going to get rid of this square and this rectangle and then wedge down on that skinny rectangle there. So just cut them straight and then wedge a little bit down. Alrighty. Okay, so this is what your cardstock should look like with what's left of the skinny rectangles on the left hand side and the top. Okay. Now, we're going to get some tear and tape and we're going to put it on the skinny rectangle that's on the left hand side. And we're going to put it as close to the score line as you can get it without going over. I've got to get my take your pick tool and we're going to take the backing off of that. We're going to fold over one side and fold the other to meet it. Now, this where the seam is is going to be the back. All right, so we want to put the sides of the bottom in and the back, and then we're going to put tear and tape on the back part of the front flap. Okay, and depending on how much you're going to, how much weight you're going to put in, um, you can put two full strips, but you definitely need one all the way up against the edge. Okay, and then you could add more inside, or you could just lick the glue, close, close it with liquid glue, right, and just try to get it nice and even press down. I'm just gonna whoops attached. I'm just gonna open it up and just kind of press down and make sure that the other piece gets onto it. Alright now this is our box. Now these little pieces are gonna fold the other way. Right? And that's how it looks when you're done. Okay. Alright now Let's do our designer series paper. Okay, we need for the front and the back, we need the two pieces that are four by two and three quarters. And there will, should be approximately an eighth of an inch all around. Okay. 
And then the two side pieces are one inch by four inches. And you could use stamp and seal too for this if you want, if you didn't want to do all the gluing. Okay, and then two, one piece each for the each side of the flap that are two and three quarters by one. All right, now which is our back? This is our back. Okay, so this is the front of the box. All right, and what can fit in here, to give you an idea, I mean, a gift card can always go in. There's all sorts of treats that you can put in here, but two of our liquid glues will fit with maybe a little extra room on the width, but the height is perfect. All righty. So that's just, a, just say a little bit wider than this together. Okay, and the actual box measures... five and three quarters by three by one and a quarter. Okay. All right, so now let's do our stamping. And I'm gonna get the stamp and pierce mat and our basic white. And we want the puppy okay the Santa hat and these are all from sweet stocking sweet little stockings and the stocking just make sure you leave room enough to cut everything all right, oops, I still need this. All right, and now this label from Seasonal Label Ties. We're going to stamp. Now on this one, I used white embossing. I think I'm just gonna do it in black this time, in the tuxedo black, okay? And it says Santa Paws is coming to town, and we wanna stamp it to the right side of the label. It's nice and thick. You can see it on the cardstock, no problem. All right, so let's let that dry. And I already cut these three images using the stockings dies. I'm not remembering. Yep, stockings dies. Now we'll color them all. All right, for the let's start with the puppy. I'm going to use light and dark soft suede so i'm just going to use the pointy end of the dark and i'm just going to go along the bottom of the face and the side of the ear okay same on the other side Ready? and that's it i don't think we need a lot more than that okay and then i'm just going to fill in the sides i'm going to leave this middle white all right, so I'm just going to fill the ears and the side of the face with light, soft suede. And that's it for the puppy. He's pretty easy. All right, and now for the hat and the stocking, I am going to leave the brim and the pom-pom alone. And that's it for the hat and then for the stocking even though it's striped I'm gonna make it this time completely red okay and that's it for the coloring alrighty so now we need I'm gonna put my silicone mat down and we're just gonna glue this right in there okay and I cut it to 
three and a quarter by two so that you can just see the stitching on the edges. I'm going to put some glue on his paws and the bottom of his chin. I'm just going to lay him right on there like that. And then I'm going to put his hat on a little bit to the side. I'm just going to put it on his brim. And I'm just going to cock it just a little bit. can just dry. See that? Well, that mess would have just got on the paper anyway. So it's good to have the silicone mount. Rinses right off. And I think it's five. I'm not uh, close to five dollars. All right. Now, while we're waiting for this to dry completely, we can put some dimensionals on this. Just going to use up my edges. going to center this right on the front. Alright, and this should be, it's a little tacky, but it'll hold. Alright, and then I'm just going to put a few dimensionals on the back of this. Just gonna put it a little bit, a little bit slanted, just a little. All right, and now again with the mat, we have our holly and berries, and I'm just gonna put them right side up here. Put a little dab of glue, and I take your pick tool with the sticky end. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of the holly leaves. And I'm going to put it about where the white and the red part of the stocking meet. Whoops. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up the berries. And just put that right on top at the tip. Alrighty. off. All right, and then um, you would put whatever you wanted in. Hold. Make sure that your top is nice and even, and I'm going to punch two holes for the ribbon in the top. Whoops. All right. And then I'm going to get our glittered organdy ribbon. And I, I cut it in a point the last time, so I have it. So I'm going to put in whatever I want to give my gift. And then just go from the front to the back. And then the back to the front. Okay. And then I'm just going to tie a bow. one shot nice and easy to make a bow with it's a little smaller okay then I'm just going to trim the end of this okay now I'm going to take our tag and I'm going to cut the tag down to two and three quarters. So we want the end with the stamping on the left, two and three quarters. 
Again, I'm just going to punch a hole here. And I'm going to get some white baker's twine. I'm going to just fold it in half and put the loop through the punch through the from the front to the back. Open up the loop and put the strings through. Then I'm just going to tie it right on the t onto the bow and do another bow. There we go. And I'm thinking that I want to add a little diamond to... Alright, I'm not sure if I want to put a, a rhinestone or an opal round. Let's try one of the smaller opal rounds first. Yeah, why not? Put an opal round right on the tip. It's a little bigger than its picture of it, but that's all right. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you would like to purchase any of these products, please um, use the address at the top of the screen, katherinetiemann.stampinup.net. And if you have any questions, please contact me. I will put my contact information and I will link my blog that will have all the measurements for you. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.